amenities we put them make you dance so yeah we make you back up with the standing mic it's and he never call you back you should leave me let me put some money in your bag you don't need what i mean is if he do you bad i'll be getting where you been girl it's where you at where you at you know Hey y'all, it's another vlog. Good morning, good morning. Actually, today is gonna be a different type of video. Well, not really, it's still gonna be a vlog, but more so dedicated to breastfeeding. You guys are not aware, I've been breastfeeding my daughter for almost five months now. I've been doing really good because it's my first time really breastfeeding my babies. I did it a little bit with Kaden. I tried to do it with Tayden. But this time, I'm really just like exclusively breastfeeding. Um, I had my old breast pump, which was not hands-free. This new breast pump that I'm about to show y'all is something that's going to be added to my breastfeeding process. I want to be able to breastfeed and also store a lot of milk. So this new breast pump has helped me actually gather that up. Basically, I got a new breast pump. I believe this is pronounced Efi, Ufi, E-U-F-Y. I'm sorry if I butchered that name wrong. Decided to send over their breast pump and I'm super duper excited to keep using this because honestly y'all, I've been looking for something hands-free. It's just, it's like a hassle. Like it's such a hassle to be able to like do your everyday task and then you have like cords like little tubes hanging down it's such a hassle for kids so it is like recommended that i have a hands-free breast pump Ufi is a mom's best friend they have so many amazing products for moms like you and me to flourish in motherhood one of them being the wearable breast pump s1 pro Ufi was specialized to help moms who want to tackle their everyday essential work with the hands-free breast pump. The one thing that I love about Eufy, they have so many different amazing features that allow you to access it all at the hands of your phone. As for the Eufy wearable breast pump itself, I love how comfortable it is and it does not give me a tenderness feel on my breast, which I absolutely love. It comes with so many different attachments so that you're able to store it without having to use the actual case. One thing that sets aside Eufy from other breast pumps is this nipple measuring cart. I have never seen this before and it was actually quite interesting and it helps me be able to size my nipple adjustments and my adjustments for my breast pump. As I mentioned earlier, you're able to use your breast pump at the ease of your phone. This function allows you to adjust your personalized, customized settings so that you're able to use it with comfort. Unlike your typical breast pumps, you're able to adjust the heat on your breast pump that allows your flow to become better and for you to produce more milk. Ufi has made it that much easier for you to be able to produce the most amount of milk the most comfortable way that allows you to be satisfied and your baby. One thing I love about the Ufi breast pump is the high quality because we all know that the better the breast pump is and the more effective it is, the more we want to breastfeed and pump. This breast pump has made it so much easier for me to do my everyday mommy activities and produce the amazing amount of milk for me and my baby. Eufy has made it so much easier for me as a mom of four, it is super duper hard to stay on track of feeding and nursing. So when I came across this breast pump, it has helped me milk supply and also my schedule with feeding. If you guys wanna see how I use the Eufy breast pump, please stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys how effective this breast pump is and how much milk I produce throughout the day. What's in this breast pump? Love, love, love the packaging. The packaging is so like aesthetically pleasing. Like it's so cute. It comes with all the things that you're going to need. Obviously the breast pump, this is a chargeable case. So it does have the power button and it also has the, um, the cable port that you would uh, charge it with. Basically, once you click it in and you hear that click, they're charging and I just love how nice these are like um 
that's where the milk goes has different functions it has a lot of different functions on the top a power button temperature the flow um yeah so this is the breast pump you'll hear that click once it's like charging and you'll see white um flashing line it also comes with different like um, nipple attachments i love obviously it's for different size nipples everybody doesn't have the same nipples and then it comes with charging it comes with the shells for uh you know all that y'all probably already seen that already because i probably already showed y'all before i even said all this so the bottle brush cleaner or a nipple cleaner has an app y'all so if you have the app it works even better because you're able to control it um off your phone you like the functions how much um battery charge and stuff like that which is amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that i'm actually gonna set it up with y'all on my phone because i haven't did it on my phone yet i have to go into the um app once you have entered the app and you have signed up on the app it's gonna ask you very first thing is to add a device and then there's different they have different products so you can either put smart sock baby monitor or breast pump obviously you're going to press breast pump i want to have the instru instructions for you to set it up so press and hold the breast pump power button for three seconds to turn the breast pump device on and left and right is added as you guys see and basically go to your pump and you can you can do a lot of stuff on this app so you can schedule reminders on when to pump when you have to get up and go so that way you're consistently doing it um you have a dashboard you're gonna have days how many times you pumped um the ounces you can keep track of what boob produce how much so like your left boob may have did three ounces this pumping session and the other right boob might have did five so you can keep track of that adding data i think that's really useful just so you can see how much you're actually pumping and what's working for you because one thing i will say i have my good days and i have my bad days so some days i'm like my flow was really bad and i'm not able to reflect on what could have i what could i have ate what did i eat what, uh, what did I do that day that may have caused my flow to go like, you know, not too much. So a lot with this app, which I really like because your pump is literally at the axis of your phone. As I'm using it, I'm going to show you guys how to be able to monitor stuff like that while you're using it. So I'm going to show you how that too. Um, but right now I'm about to get ready to pump to actually get ready to start my day off, y'all. I'm going to start pumping. This video is literally going to consist of me pumping all throughout the day so I can show y'all how much I store, how much I give to baby, etc, etc. Also, it's going to consist of me just like what foods, what drinks, what smoothies, etc. that I drink and eat to produce my milk supply to go up go ahead and show y'all what i eat just so y'all know what foods to avoid and what foods i eat to produce my milk like i don't really be thinking about too much but i know baby one thing i will say i always eat me a protein bar like i snack on those like crazy but yeah y'all i'm gonna get myself together and we're gonna get straight into using our breast pump throughout the day and the foods that we eat and just me being a mom honestly y'all this ain't really a formal video this is just dedicated to breastfeeding so let's get our day started So basically, I just finished getting Le Layla Harlem. It it's Sunday, by the way, y'all. So no school. It's Sunday. However, I just changed Harlem diaper. Tayden is woke. This is the time where I'm going to tell you guys what I eat um, throughout the day to get my milk supply up. Because Harlem did already kind of eat. She just kind of woke up out of her sleep. I'm not going to breastfeed her yet um so usually what i would do to buy, basically build up the momentum in my boobs when it comes to like pumping i try to feed her first 
and then pump whatever she didn't eat because if they especially if they go to sleep so if harlan was to wake up for a feeding i would feed her if she falls asleep usually she'll fall asleep and basically i'll put her down and whatever is left i pump okay i don't want to pump yet because i want to make sure she still eats and then i can pump as much as i want and you keep that process going until you build up storage okay first things first i need to make my kids some breakfast and i need to make me some breakfast so i pertain to eggs eggs has a lot of vitamin d in it and a lot of our milk does not contain a lot of vitamin d so eating stuff with vitamin d in it is great it's trying to get a great point on y'all i'm sorry get away from spicy foods spicy foods is a no-no there are some protein bars okay so i cannot stress this enough protein bars is what's going to make you have milk like it's going to increase your milk supply and the more protein it has in those protein bars the better okay what do you want he want one child sometimes i should look he can get this one because i haven't ate these yet and i don't know what these taste like they have different kinds so if you don't like peanut butter then they have they do have different kinds so baby good job, good job. here hold on this one real sticky here all right go sit down so the um the brand that i like to use is the nurture valley protein these are my favorite 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 like they're so good they're not too much so when i eat my breakfast in the morning i'm also going to make sure i get me a protein bar now we can go on what we're about to eat let's get to cooking so now i'm able to eat just, um went ahead and fed the kids right now and then i decided that i was just gonna do my waffles so i usually get basic waffles and i dress it up with some um cinnamon and syrup some eggs and i have some smoked sausage so it looks good and then for my drink okay bear with me this one i haven't tried yet but i tried the other one it's okay use drink some coconut water coconut water will increase your breast milk okay it will increase your breast milk obviously there's no protein in it but that's just because it doesn't have protein in it does not mean it's not going to help your breast milk okay this coconut water usually anything coconut like coconut milk and stuff like that like i'm gonna show you how to make like that pink drink if you watch my last vlog i showed you guys how to make the pink drink whole time that is a lactation milk supply but get you some coconut water this is the vita cocoa press coconut water um it's not from concentrate or concentrate y'all know that word uh, before you drink it and the way that i did the eggs baby i did a really good job okay Baby Harlem just staring at me, staring me down. She's like, girl, hurry up and eat so I can eat. I'm already done with yours here. Hmm. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness. Good job. Good job. 
I'm gonna catch you in a sec. Uptown, a spare little deal, savage. Us ups are giving up pictures, done it so much, could have turned to a collage. They fucked with the budge, but love the white more like Nigel Farage. I scream fuck first because I've been harassed. I was on Eagle, bros, I'm mad. What do you mean they won't take cash in Van Cleef? And then it has a bug. I wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight on the Eufy app and how you're able to monitor and control the adjustable settings for your breast pump. So many different functions that you can do to be able to make sure you're in comfort. One of them being the heating function. You're able to adjust the temperature and how long you want to allow the heat to go onto your breast pump. And this allows your milk supply to increase. There's also different rhythms that you can choose from. They even have ones that mimic your baby's suction. This has to be the best feature that I absolutely love because you're able to customize it so that way you're in ease and comfort using your breast pump. Are you coming soon to me? No parking in LA. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. Is my secret safe? Safe with just you and me. We can leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Oh. So your girl has been doing stuff around the house um, because I wanted to show y'all basically that you can do whatever you want pretty much and be able to pump. So I washed my dishes, got that out the way, and you know how good it feels to be able to wash your dishes and pump at the same time because y'all know I had the other pump and it was just always like it was just always stuff in a way so this was just amazing okay edit a video or halfway edit and then i was like let me just go ahead and wash dishes so i'm about to get my breast pump bags and i'm going to get my pen and i'm gonna show y'all what i pumped Ooh, and look how much milk that is and mind you i did already feed um harlem so she already got her little feeding i made sure that i fed her first so this one which is the one i fed her off of she it's not going to be full at all it's not even going to be like i don't know it's going to be barely an ounce i literally fed her so i was i wasn't able to um get a lot of milk out of this one but this one i did and look how much milk i got okay i'm gonna take off the top part so you just basically hold this and pull this back and this goes up be careful boo the milk okay off of these measurements i pumped four and a half ounce yes. sessions and i'm going to go to the right one and um, i'm going to press pumping device and then it's going to automatically have the like the times you pumped and how long you pumped this one i have four and a half ounces so i'm going to put four um point five i'm going to save that okay and then um, I have the left one, which the left one I was trying to pump a little longer just to see if I can get more milk out of it, but really was no luck. And to set this down, you are able to set it down with no problem, which is a good thing. You ain't got to worry about, oh my God, this is going to spill. But do make sure that you're pulling them off carefully. You don't want to just yank them off, okay? Whew. And baby, once one thing I can say it gets every drop. Like, I feel no milk in my boobs right now. <laughs> Pretty much nothing in there it might be like an ounce i will say it's about an ounce in there so i'm just gonna pull this up and it's only an ounce like i said because i literally fed harlem like on like actually fed her naturally for my breast so oh well let's see how much this is oh it's not even an ounce it's literally less than an ounce so what i'm gonna do is say this is it's almost an ounce i'll say it's a 0 0.75 i mean yeah yeah 0 0.75 so i'm gonna go in to the left and i'm going to do um i'm just gonna say 0 0.7 ounces and i'm gonna save that and in total i made 5.2 ounces of milk so woohoo um yeah we're just gonna open this up and store our milk so this is our first one for the morning and then pour that in there ah! should be good though look how much milk that is i did a good job y'all i did a good job this breast pump did a good job okay this breast pump is is fire like i love it so i'm gonna be back to y'all when it's lunchtime 
So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to wash your pump correctly. The first thing you want to do is remove all the parts from your pump, allowing you to individually clean each piece by piece. So please ensure that when you're washing your breast pump that you're not washing the actual hub. It's important that you only wipe off the actual hub with a towel. As for the remaining pieces of the breast pump, you are able to wash it with warm soapy water and you're able to also use the bottle brush cleaner that comes with it. Make sure that you're washing your pump after each use which is going to give you the best cleanest results as well and also make sure if you do decide to boil your pump that you're not leaving the pieces in over in boiling water more than five minutes. After you're done washing your breast pump, make sure that before you reassemble that it is completely dry. I specifically like to let mine air dry and then if it's still any remaining excess water, I like to make sure that I wipe it off clean with a towel. Girl, I get the money with him, make you mine, oh. If you love me, never let him make you mad, oh. So, it is later on in the afternoon. It is 12.25. I'm actually about to make me a little shake real quick before I go. Um, I haven't used my breast pump yet, so I'm going to feed her and then I'm going to use it. Um, hey, fat mama. Look at her, y'all. She looks so cute. Her hair has been growing, her little ponytail. Y'all remember when she only had two? Now she got one big one okay i'm gonna show y'all what i use and then i'm gonna make it real quick and then yeah save me enough time um i use the berry melody so this is by meyer basically has strawberries blueberries blackberries and raspberries and it is unsweetened um you can get the sweetened kind if you want to but it's unsweetened and then i use just a little bit of protein powder this is um some just some protein powder that i use for this so i just mix these two and with some milk, um, almond milk, whole milk, whatever you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and make this off camera. That way I can get stuff situated because like I got a lot going on right now, y'all. baby Harlem hey fat mama my smoothie this is going to be like my lactation juice or my lactation milk or whatever y'all are eating y'all smoothies are you hungry are you hungry it's a producer milk we finna go ahead and try it because sometimes I make it differently and this one is a little bit newer so I haven't yet tried it yet I'm gonna just try to drink some and then feed her because she acts a real hungry all right let's try this Okay, it tastes, it kind of tastes like nothing because it's not sweet. Like it's not nasty, it's not too sweet. It's actually like perfect. So let's go ahead and drink this. And then I'll be back to y'all once she's done nursing and then I'm going to be pumping for the second time. Yeah, cause she hungry y'all, so I'll be. All right y'all, so it is. I'm whispering because I just put my baby to sleep later on and I just actually got them pumping. I was able to finish some of my smoothie, but not all of it. Um, I saved the rest in the um, refrigerator so that smoothie can last me about a good day because I like to make sure I finish it all so that way I'm getting all the benefits. I did 30 minutes. Basically, I have been loving it i'm trying to get this boob used to the pump but this one is just taking it very well one thing i will say is if your boobs are having trouble with producing milk these pumps in particular they have like a heating um 
like you can control how much heat to put on there so what you should do is put a heating temp on one of the pumps whatever one like this one always does fine but this one seems to produce low milk in general not just because of the pump so basically they have a heating function to produce more milk because basically the way your boobs work is when it has heating it makes it alerts your milk supply that your baby is basically ready to eat so keep that in mind to show y'all what i pumped real quick this is my right boob my right boob y'all and look how much milk i got wasn't a lot of milk but y'all get it this boob is still adjusting so bear with me all together this is what i pumped as you can see this one has a little bit this is gonna always produce more this is my best boob and then this one has let's see i'm just gonna guesstimate it and then i'm going to add it together so this is two ounces and i pump for 30 minutes in total i always pump for 30 minutes i feel like that that's what gave me my best results and then this is actually five ounces the storage bag and basically what i'm going to do is fill up this and then I got seven ounces so what I'm think I'm gonna do is do four ounces in this bottle and do the remaining ounce of like three ounces in the storage bag do it slow cuz baby you ain't trying to spill you ain't trying to spill alright y'all so I put the five ounces in the bottle i'm gonna put the remaining i'm gonna put the remaining two ounces in here because there's just a lot of teleporting all that out so i have two ounces for storage and i have five ounces for feeding so it is later on and i just pumped again and it's my last time pumping and then we're gonna add it all up or whatever so i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna do this because i'm tired baby i'm so tired um i already fed harlem so This is two ounces. Five ounces I'm storing because I already fed her, so she's good. I pumped a total of 17.2 ounces with that being said because i'm so tired right now um this breast pump will be in my description box it will be all linked down below i don't know something about having a good pump makes you want to pump more i want to pump more because i know it's not a hassle it's hands-free and i know i'm not having to drag around one thing about nursing i'm not nursing one thing about breastfeeding if you are using a pump that always irritates you or you're using a pump that serves no purpose, it's not working, you're not eager to want to pump. Make sure y'all check them out. All the links will be in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys gained some tips and some tricks out of this video as well. And y'all, I'll catch y'all in my next one.